Hey guys, all right. I just went to get the mail and I literally got this box just today in the mail. And I usually, honestly, I'm usually really busy. So sometimes the happy mail sits a couple of days, but in this case, I just have to open it today. Um, so it's from Connie Kruger. Connie, I hope that's the right way to pronounce your last name. I think it is. Um, and I'm assuming it's happy mail because it says this on the top, summer spring cleaning, LOL. I don't know what that means, Connie, but I think that kind of scares me. I don't know what this is, and I, I'm not remembering that I was expecting anything. It doesn't really mean anything, because I forget stuff all the time. But I don't think I was, so let's open it. I have no idea what's in here. Holy cow. Okay, first, I'm going to put this this way. <laughs> so, first of all, I know this is just like packing or filler, but what a pretty color of burgundy tissue this is really pretty so we'll put that aside I'll get my scissors out of the way all right this says handmade pots for air ferns and my brush lost its hair so i replaced it with my own i don't know what that means <laughs> i don't know i guess let's find out the container's interesting does the bottom come off? It looks like it might. I'm distracted by the container. If the bottom comes out, it might work for, um, this might work for acrylic pouring. Sorry, I know. Oh, squirrel! Holy cow, this box is really full. This is going to be a long video, you guys. Wow! She sent me an artist trading brush, and that's literally her own hair. <gasps> That's so precious, look at that. And then look at these little pot hanging pots. You know, I bet, Connie, I could put some cotton uh, balls in there and put my favorite essential oils in there and hang them around my house. Those are super cute. I love them, look at the pink one. All right, there is a ton of stuff in here. There are some die cuts right here on top, so I'm gonna pull them out. They're die cut snowflakes out of magazine pages, it looks like. Aren't they cute? And there's a note, I think. Let's see. Oh, Connie, you're so welcome. She's, um, I'm, I'm not going to read the whole note word for word because it's a little private, but um, these are things that she can't use anymore and she wants them to go to a good home. Connie, thank you so much. They definitely are going to one. I'm going to save your two notes. I have a box here in the office where I put all of your little notes that you send me. And there is some treats in here too. So here is some Trident gum. My husband loves gum and mints. You guys didn't know that, but... And these are NECA wafers, which are really cool. They're good. Tea. Lemon... Okay, you guys are listening to my... In the, my video, have I mentioned? Lemon Zinger is my husband's favorite tea. He's going to be so jazzed. This is his favorite tea. I have to tell him some of the boxes for him. Um, these um, pipettes. I love these. And you really... They're kind of disposable, so you can really only get like one or two uses out of them. So they're always handy to have a whole bunch of them around. There's a bunch of stuff that's wrapped. And those snowflakes are everywhere. Holy cow. So this is wrapped in some beautiful blue ribbon and some snow white fabric. I'm going to put the food things over that way by my phone. I think I need to sit down for this. <laughs> All right. I love the fabric. It reminds me of making things for my daughter when she was little. Okay, something in a Walmart bag. This is so cool. I, I love this. I can't remember the last time I got such an interesting, unexpected box of Happy Mail. Such a big one. This is a huge box. All right. <clears throat> so there are different sorts of papers. Some found distressed papers. This looks like wrapping paper or origami paper. I bet you it's wrapping paper. 
um, found papers, uh, like chip bags, or in this case a Cracker Jack bag. This is a <laughs> stitch and color chart for Holly Hobby, and you know what? I'm a big Holly Hobby fan. <laughs> She's a little bit after my time, because she wasn't she like a 1970s, 80s? I was born in 63, but um, I like Holly Hobby. Uh, Ghirardelli chocolate wrapper. Different thing. These are fun. Some cards. Card, I should say card fronts. Oh, look at this. Fun watercolor paper with paint on it. There's two of them. Oh, I like those. They would actually be, they look like they're card blanks and they would be good cards. But I'm also thinking they would be an interesting start to a journal. They would make good signatures. More paper, old paper. Some interesting wrapping paper, I think. I like it. I don't know what it is exactly. More watercolor paper. Something in a envelope. Keep calm and color on. <laughs> I'll try. I don't always do it successfully. They're little small coloring images. I can sit and color on the couch. Those are cool. Alright, let's see what else is in this bag. I mean box. It's not a bag. Alright. I use these for many uses such as a palette, coaster, frame for ornaments, holder on a desk for small things, circles. These, these are great. Just lids. You can't really have enough lids laying around your art room as far as I'm concerned. They're good for a lot of things. Look at these bottles. These are cool. You can fill these like I have a giant like gallon sized bottle of pouring medium so these kind of bottles are great so that you can decant some of it into a little littler bottle like this. It makes it easier to use. Alright, look at all these bo medicine bottles. They all have stuff in them. Every single one. There's another snowflake. Nylon coated wire. That's going to be interesting to play with. Look at that. That might be fun to spray through. Hmm. Here's another one. I like that. Look at more medicine bottles. No weird little bottle. Weird is in unusual, not weird is bad. All right. So these little wood wedges, these are actually for tightening a stretch canvas frame. They actually go in the corners of the frame. Um, but these are also good if you don't use them for that to just use them as, um, you know, just random little pieces of wood in mixed media. Okay, this one looks like it's full of, I was going to say split rings, but there are, is um, some jewelry pieces in there. Look at that. So there's some random jewelry pieces in there. Oh, they're not split rings. They're these things. I don't have any of those. Well, I do now. There's another thing with a bead in there. It's jewelry parts. There it is. Those are cool. I don't know what these are supposed to be for, but they already give me some ideas. All right. This one has, I don't know what that is. Earring backs? Yep, earring, earring backs. Oh, clip on earring, um, the clip part. Let's see if I can get one out to show you. There might be one or two of you out there that don't know what a clip on earring is. But there you go. When I was still working in a medical office, even though I've pierced ears, I used to wear clip ons because it was easier to yank one off when you needed to answer the phone. Back in the day. All right. 
This is something sparkly. Look at that. I don't know what it is. Chain. Wow. That's some really nice chain too. That's beautiful stuff. Okay. I don't know. More of those ring things and other jewelry parts including a little miniature um, dream catcher. I like these little metal dream catchers. These are cool. I think one of these needs to be on the front of a um, journal page. And that's what you made at the, with those rings. You made little dream catchers. I'm gonna have to see if I can do that. And there is this piece of resin in here and it looks like it has flowers um, in between the layers. That's pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> As I toss them everywhere. I even got one on the floor. Holy cow. All right. Let's put them back in here before I lose one. Okay. Oh, you know what? This is um, the little water dispenser thing for a iron. We actually have one of these in the laundry room for my husband's iron. And I kind of wanted one for in here, and now I have one. <laughs> that might be so far my favorite thing. I know that's ridiculous, but... All right. Oh, some beads. Handmade polymer clay beads, it looks like. They're pretty. Something in an Altoid tin. Oh, it's a mini watercolor palette. That's cute. I like that. And this is a, another clay piece, handmade Sculpey book. Oh, it's a book. Okay, wait, now I have to open this. And you know, you guys, the box is full. It's really full. All right, hang on. I might have to do this like in two parts or three parts. All right, so it says, Oh, oh, it is. It's a cover. So it's a front and back cover of a miniature miniature book covers. How cute is that? They're made out of polymer clay. So cute. I might have to make a mini blue book out of those. Okay. Another medicine bottle with more jewelry parts in it. More snowflakes. They're stuck to everything. Okay. Um... More of those dream catchers. I love these. I really do love these. I think these are cool. There's other, I'm not gonna pull them all out because there's too much, we'll be here all day, but there's other little small interesting jewelry parts. They're gonna make some interesting future mis mixed media projects. I don't know what that is. But something already put together, it looks like, or partially put together. Oh, it's a necklace. Or at least the start of one. That's cool. Um, more of the silver chain. Beautiful. It's a gorgeous shiny color. And these are more uh, clip-on earring bases. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's for a clip-on earring. All right, what's out? What else is in here? There's uh, some packages like this. More snowflakes. Okay, so this one looks like it's full of trims and a piece of uh, faux leather. There's also some suspender clips here in the bag, which I love, love, love. Look at all this great stuff. All right, and then this one. I don't know what this got snow more snowflakes inside the bag. See, snowflakes. 
there's something in there, I think. It, this is interfacing, it feels like. It could just be a wad of interfacing. That's very possible. Yep, that's all it is. But that looks like interfacing. Like the sew-in kind. You know what? I should jelly print with this. I could make some um, jelly printed trim, some painted trim. Okay, I just got an idea, Connie. <laughs> Big idea. Oh, wire. I just started playing with wire again, and so I don't have any of the brass color, and I'm running out of some other ones, so this is great. <clears throat> I bet, is that a peanut can? It's kind of interesting. There's some can lids in here. These are cool. I always, I actually have a drawer of these that I keep because they're interesting to do stuff with. And then I'm thinking this is a peanut jar that she's taken the hard cardboard off of, and which has made it collapsible. Interesting. All right. And then there is a little bit of trim on a card. Some more that looks like eyelash yarn which I actually don't have any of anymore because I got rid of all my yarn. So I appreciate that. Another snowflake. All right, some more jewelry pieces. These are hoop earrings, gold hoop earrings. Those will be fun to play with. Advanced tape glider refill rolls. Oh, I have an ATG gun, very cool. Glass. This says glass. What does that mean? Oh, dropper bottle. I love these. They're great for using with alcohol or any of those kind of things that you just need a drop of in your work or to make the paint move around. I love these and I love the blue glass. I'm going to keep that out because I think I have a use for it. There's another one of those containers. I don't know what this is from was handmade to bring hope and growth. Hugs. Okay, I need that note up. There's another one of these containers. I really want to see if I can get the bottom off. Interesting. I think that's just filler. Wrapped in paper towels. Oh, 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 I'm getting excited. This looks so pretty. I didn't even see the whole thing yet. Oh, look at that. <gasps> He's so cute. He has to go on my desk. <gasps> I love him. Oh, he's so cute. I'm not done yet. <laughs> There's still more in the box. There's a zipper. You know, I use these. I don't use them in sewing anymore, but I use them in mixed media. Okay, put it, I can put the box on the floor. Okay, so here's this one. It's wrapped with some more ribbon in a bag. It says something apron, it says. Oh, is it a plastic disposable apron? Oh, this might be nice when I'm working with pouring acrylics because, you know, it's very messy. Very cool. When you don't want to, you know you're going to get messy, but you don't want to like use your apron that you have to wash later. I love that idea. Oops. We don't want to knock our little person over. All right. Some uh, bandana pattern duct tape. And it was around this package. Ooh, stencils. So we have this one with um, Asian characters for peace, energy, happiness, and love. And there's a bamboo shoot in the middle. And then we have this one, Ivy one. Actually, you know what? I think I've used this in my house before. I used to have the front room stenciled around the um, top of the wall. Might have been with this stencil. Which I don't have any. Well, now I have it. 
And then there, here's a fan one. This is actually a quilter's um, stencil, but um, you can paint with them, no problem. So cool. All right, we have one more package. I can't believe you went to all this trouble, Connie. This is wonderful. I love my little guy. He's so cute. All right. Oh, look at this. Stack of fabric wrapped in some more interesting yarn. There's this pink one. I get these out now. A tie dye. I love me some tie dye. There's this blue one with a leaf. It looks like a leaf print. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a flower print. Here's it in white. Some green. And then this brown and pink flower. This is wonderful, Connie. Thank you so much. If any of the rest of you out there want to send me happy mail, maybe join one of my Facebook groups, check out my website, um, support me by shopping in my Etsy shop and buying some of my stamps, stamps or stencils or original artwork or digital downloads, something like that. Um, or maybe you just want to support my channel by sending money to my tip jar. The links for all of that are in the description. You don't have to send me happy mail, but I sure do appreciate when you do. And this is wonderful. Thank you so much, Connie. It will definitely be used and used well. I uh, appreciate all of you very much. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.